Yep. Now the beef artist part two, kick it in the high gear. Let's go. Yep. Ain't nothing changed. Beef artists are still beef artists. And they're still as hot as the beef remains hot. When the shit get cold. <laughs> watch that relevance just eats away at you. You know what I mean? Not you, the listener, but you, the person that decides to go the beef artist route. Oh, no, nah, man, not going to knock your hustle. Sometimes, sometimes you got to punch a lot of your haters in their mouth. You know, they come up to you with that dumb shit and, and they say this and that. And yeah, you know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when they lie about you. Yeah. And then you got to really step in and, you know, kick them in the butt, kick them in the butt to let them know that that's not you. They got you fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Some don't understand. Beef artistry is not the way one should go. But, yo, if you do go that route, the upside of it is that, you know, competition is good with whomever you're fucking with or whoever is fucking with you. Even though you may seem like that, that so-called person that you're beefing with ain't about shit. No, there's a lot of things you can learn about the person that you are beefing with. A lot of things you can learn about them. How not to present this or not that. Yeah, it sounds kind of vague coming from me. But yeah, I'm just going to say it the way I say it. Or those types of YouTubers that hang around, wait for a little drama or a skirmish to happen, and... You can't wait to get in there to light a fucking blowtorch flamethrower of a fire under that beef. You don't mean to, but you would want to. And some do it for the sake of defending those that they feel kindred spirits to. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with defending your YouTube homie, right? <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah, man. YouTube homies, get the fuck out of here. But yeah, man. To be a beef artist, you know, it's all right. I, I like to see a roast every now and then, you know. We all need to see a good roast of some of these, you know, <laughs> subpar level thinking, you know, lower level normies, you know. Not just, you know, not surface level normies. I know I mean like. Those that are not even well versed in how we think and this philosophy of ours. But be careful who you are lending your brotherhood to. Yeah, I know. Not all can folk are skin folk. Yeah, if you ain't getting knocked, stay the fuck from those that got the Christmas lights on top of their car. Yeah, don't raise a hand to another man that is, you know, really doing it out here. And are good earners. Kind of works the same way. Right? You know? It used to irritate me when somebody would just, you know, say in their videos or in their live streams, in these YouTube streets. Air quotes. In these YouTube streets. But you know what? Nah. Nah. I'm not even disappointed in them anymore. It's because of these lower levels. That want to hop into this and turn it and turn it all into YouTube streets, but we were gonna get them regardless, you know, via the device that you hold in your hand. And for some of your, some of you guys that are listening to this or watching this, my bad for that. You know, I'm just in my groove right now. I'm throwing down the aces on them, you know. If you are that, that that type of beef artist, just know that when you are around the psyche soap space, just know 
that I don't go for the belligerence. Just know that I don't go for the heat and the okie doke. Because I have you suck the tube of a fire extinguisher real quick if you want to get flamed up. You know, not a threat, not a promise, not a braggadocio. I've done it before, I can do this again. This shit about being a beef artist is some guy that, or girl, that's like, that likes to say a thing or two in their live stream or say a thing or two in their video to social media hype of what the fuck is going on there. And um, I can't say that I won't fall victim to it. I mean, I'm going to get hit a couple of times in my shoulder. I already know. The, the thing is, is the thing would be what would happen after that happens. After I get hit in the shoulder with a little bit of drama and beef. Because it was around this time last year that um, a certain guy came at my website or came at my channel or messed with my videos or went to another platform and started dissing and it became a little nothing burger really it became a nothing burger it's kind of funny how i diss a motherfucker and they don't respond to me what the fuck am i like the you know am i the manosphere push a t or something uh, i don't know don't give a fuck the point is this it's all right if you want to be a beef artist but please be careful at where that road takes you. Whatever, you know, whatever was a plus for you in that channel, whatever attracted an audience to your channel is what you should stick to. But if it's beef, <laughs> uh, yo, you're not going to last long, money. You know, seriously. Now, yeah, you gonna yeah, you gonna get a little hot. You gonna shoot up there, but it's gonna be problems, and it doesn't necessarily have to be on the platform of YouTube. It doesn't. It really doesn't. There are other streaming platforms out there. You know it. I know it. And if you wasn't on them before, what the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, what the fuck is wrong with me? I need to get on them. What the hell am I doing here? Yeah, fellas, just don't, if you're going to be a beef artist, do the shit right, man. Whatever the fuck that means. All right.